Ellie here from Micro Workshop. Just going to show you how to model this ashtray in SolidWorks. So um, if we just start from the beginning, start a new part. Yeah, the first thing we're going to do is the main body, which we're going to use a revolve for. So if you come to your front plane, start sketch, just get your line, click at the origin, and just bring out a horizontal line. And uh, if you make that 45 mil, and then we're going to bring out another line here, not vertical, just angled a little bit. <clears throat> we're going to make that 1.3 mil height. Just going to make that. Smart mention. Let's so make that 120. Escape. Now um, make another line. So select your line tool, drag it out to the right, and we're going to dimension it. Smart dimension from the origin to here, which is going to be 50. And then we're going to draw another line up, just angle a little bit again. So we're going to make, so I grab your smart dimension, we're going to make the height 25 mil. And smart dimension and the length 55. So now we're going to um, make the other walls representing the inside of the ashtray. Um, so a quick way to do that is you can just go to offset entities, select it, it's automatically got select change so it's recognized all of the lines. I'm going to reverse, I'm going to want to give it like a 5mm wall thickness and I'm going to say OK. Now let's get my line tool. I'm going to close this here at the origin. So to close, closing the sketch, and here we're just going to make a horizontal line. I press escape and go to a trim tool and just hold your left click down, drag it over. Make sure you've got power trim selected. Say OK, and then you just come up to features and you select revolve boss. And the first thing it wants to know is where is its axis it's revolving around. So we just say origin and then it's automatically picked up this closed profile. So it's made a revolve that we want. <coughs> so now we just want to uh, make these little cuts here. So I'm going to make a start sketch on my right plane and I'm going to look head on with it. So space bar to get your view cube, right plane. Now I'm just going to do a section view with my right plane just so I can see the inside. Um, and I'm going to come up here and I'm going to get my center line and I'm going to start the origin. I'm just going to drop it anywhere there and I'm going to give it a measurement of 15 mil. In fact, I'm not going to give it a measurement, so I'm just going to delete that. So I press delete the keyboard, I'm just going to drag it up. And I'm going to get a rectangle, and I'm going to try and start with it there. I press escape, and then right click that line, select midpoint, and hold control. And that should, your relations manager should come up. Um, so now I come to your three point arc to so make sure it's this one selected and we just take it here we take it here and click three times press escape hold that uh, click that hold control click that and say tangent now we're just going to make that center line so 
click it and say for construction, so construction line. And we're going to give this a dimension. We're going to say smart dimension. We're going to say 10 mil. And then we're going to give this a dimension again. Uh, so let's say that's 25 mil. So if you've got the same thing that I just did, right click here, pardon me, just uh, left click, hold control, left click again at that point, say OK. Now we give this a dimension, smart dimension, I'm going to say that's 5. Now I'm just going to cut all the way through, so I go to the Features tab, Extrude Cut. I'm going to go in one direction, I'm going to go through all of that there. So now we really just have to, so I come out of Section View, and we want to make a uh, circular pattern, so we want to copy this four times. Um, so we're going to come up to the linear pattern and get the drop down circular pattern, select that. And we're going to select one of these rings. Um, this is just asking where am I, where am I doing my uh, circular pattern around. And I'm going to pick up the feature just by clicking on it. And we've got four instances in 360 degrees. So that's exactly what we want. So we say OK. And then we have that. And then we really just want to give it some fillets. Um, so come up to your fillet manager. I'm going to give it a fillet of uh, one mil. I'm going to give it pretty much everywhere. So I'm just going to select these four faces. And then these four. I'm going to say OK. And lastly, we're just going to put a little logo on there. So if you click on that face, and start a sketch. Look at it. Put it head down. And we're just going to get our text here. Uh, I'm going to just say micro workshops. I'm going to get my O sort of centered on the origin. So you just come up here and you click in the curves, and then you can just click anywhere in space, and it's going to move to where you want it. So that's where I'd like mine. And I'm just going to say emboss, so features, boss extrude. And because it's a logo and it's just uh, an embroidered logo, I'm just going to put it up 0.5 mil. And say OK to that. And there you have it. Yeah.